So guys, if you have always wanted to learn Photoshop, but you don't know where to start, then this video is exactly for you. Most people think that Photoshop is hard, yes. But the truth is nobody ever taught them the right way. And that is what Photographics Academy is here to do. So in the next few minutes, I will be showing you how to use Photoshop, even if you have never, ever opened it before. Right? In Photographics Academy this month, we are going to be using a full comprehensive Photoshop classes as our New Year gift to our followers and photographers all around the world. So if you have never used Photoshop before, if you are new to Photoshop or you are a beginner or you are even a pro, then you will definitely learn something in this series. Over the course of the next one month, we are going to be taking you through intensive classes on Photoshop and it is all for free. So without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. In this particular one today, we are going to be, you know, exploring Photoshop. Let's just open Photoshop. What is Photoshop? Let's look at it together. How do you navigate your way through Photoshop? Without wasting much of your time, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to understand why using Photoshop is that you need to open it first, right? And to open it, just go to the Photoshop. If you look at mine, it has PS written on it. Just go to that double click and it's going to open up for you. So if you are getting into Photoshop for the very first time, this is where it will bring you to. Exactly what I have on my screen right now is where it will bring you to. to bring you to. And say, welcome to Photoshop. Drag and drop a file or select from one of the computers. So this is exactly how it works. Now, if I want to bring in picture, all I need to do is just to drag and drop. So for the purposes of the class, I'm just going to, you know, bring in any particular image. So let me just keep this image right here. Okay, so we are right here in Photoshop. Oh, let me just get something else. And of course, when you remove your images, you see the pictures right there in your history panel. So let's bring it this one over here. Keep it here. So once you bring in your image into Photoshop, this is how it will appear. Sometimes what you have here will be looking scattered, like this one is not exactly where it should be. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use what we call workspace to reset. So I'll just go here and reset my workspace. So in Photoshop, you work in your workspace. Photoshop is a software that have tools and these are your tools right here. It has tools. It works with your layers. All these things you are looking at right here are all the complex of Photoshop. And they have not even finished. You can even change the color of your overall interface. If you right click outside the canvas, you are going to see different other colors. So if I go to black, it's going to make it pure black. If I go to dark gray, it makes it dark gray. If I even do light gray, it makes it light gray. If I even do uh, custom, it chooses the custom color. I can even say select custom color. And I'll now choose exactly the kind of color I want it to be. Even if I want it to be red, I can put it to be red. So I'm going to take it back to default because I prefer working with default so it doesn't confuse us. And Photoshop has not just finished here. It also have a lot of drop downs over here that you as well use to edit your images. And even in the drop down as well, the ones that have arrows, you still have other options. You still have other options. You still have other options right there in the images. We'll have the select, the filter, the view, the plugin, windows, and help. All these things, we are going to be taking our time to be explaining to you one by one what it does. And Photoshop even have uh, something in the filter called Camera Raw that can help color grade your image, change the look, the color grading, make it sharper and even blur your background. And we are going to be exploring it in subsequent videos, how to blur background using Photoshop and all of that. I will be exploring Camera Raw and you'll be understanding exactly how all these sliders you are looking at right here works. Even beyond that, we still have uh, other ones. We'll have the Filter Gallery, the Adaptive Wide Angle, we'll have the Lens Correction, Lipify, Vanishing Point, Blur, Blur Gallery, and all of all the things. We even have, when you are working on Photoshop and you want to be going to what we are doing, this is our history. And we'll have where we can set actions so that we set 
or we save a setting or a particular procedure we follow so that each time we want to use it again, we do not need to restart it from the beginning. We just click on it once and it automatically sets itself and we quickly get into action. And Photoshop also have unlimited filters, different filters that can give your images different looks and different colors. A lot of them. Look at how beautiful that is. Look, look at this one. A lot of them. I love this one. Imagine if we reduce the intensity of it. So, of course, what I just did is I reduced the opacity of my layer. So, when we are going to be learning layer and layer masking, we are going to be learning about the opacities and all of that. So, look at this image right now. This is the before. This is the after. Automatically, we just even added some warmness. Photoshop even allows you brighten up your image in case you feel it's too dark or it's too bright, you just introduce your brightness or uh, introduce your darkness. And the color filters are not yet even finished. There's another one. See this one, we call it grade art map. All you need to do is just to set it right and boom, you are good to go. Let me show you a very quick snip peek of how it works. So if I keep this somewhere around 50 and I start and I press OK, reduce the opacity, somewhere it still looks natural. Good. Then come back as I'm clicking on my randomize. Notice that my ooh, look at that beautiful color. I love this. You notice that my colors are just changing automatically, trying to find the skin tone. Look at this one. The before, the after. Oh my. So just these two filters that we applied right now, this is what we have. Like I said initially, this one is for me to as to just walk you around through Photoshop. This particular video is just to make you master your environment around Photoshop. From the next subsequent videos, we are going to be treating all this one by one. So you cannot afford, I say it again, you cannot afford to miss any single video in this series. Trust me, this is the best video you will find on the internet on Photoshop basics. So if you are a beginner, if you are a learner, this is what you make sure that you stay tuned as we keep bringing new, 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 more, more videos on this topic and subject so that you can learn properly. And like I was saying before, the things that Photoshop can do have not even finished. Let me show you. So I can just, you know, delete the color effect. You we'll just do. If you want to remove the blemishes on high, it's very simple. We'll just go to our remove tool, select the blemishes, wherever they are. And press our remove and it will automatically you know, take care of them. That is basically how it works. I will have other tools that you can use as well. Everything you see here is your tool. You have the move, the marquee, the lasso, the selection, the cropping, the eyedropper, the uh, removal tool. We we'll have the skin blemish removal. We we'll have the patch tool. We we'll have the brush. We we'll have the brush uh pattern stand brush different different things that photoshop have right here that you definitely want to take advantage of do not let anybody talk to you about this one if you want to learn photoshop from the basics i say it again stay on this one and you will become a pro in the next one month thank you so much for watching make sure that you follow us for more and please subscribe to our youtube channel when you subscribe click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video until then see you on the next one